Hey everyone, Thor here, back with some gaming news. It's been a little while since I've covered gaming news. Huge Final Fantasy VII fan. I'm excited for Remake Part 2, see what they do with it. It's going to be different from the original, they say. I think a lot of the story beats will be the same. I pulled up this leak. It's from I'm a Hero 2. It hasn't been confirmed, but some of it sounds legit. I mean, some people are a little skeptical, saying Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be a launch title for the Switch 2. I could see that happening. Square is closely associated, you know, with Nintendo. They released the Pixel Remaster there. I, c I could see it coming out. Say that looks like the PS5. My guess is the Switch 2 is probably running at 1080p. So I'm sure it'll look good. I doubt it could do 2K or, you know, 4K for that matter. But the Switch 2 is probably a 1080p device. I mean, look at the Steam Deck. It's probably very similar. But games look great on the Steam Deck. Final Fantasy VII Remake was great on the Steam Deck, so of course the new Switch is going to be able to run it. And that'd be a great launch title for it. I wouldn't get it. I've already 100% that game twice. I'm I'm good. So I'll get the Switch 2 if they release more Smash or something. Talk some more Persona, which is interesting. Persona 6 is going to get pushed out. I'm excited for that one. I've been thinking about buying Persona 5 again on Steam. I mean, it's 100 hours. and I just put 100 hours in the Baldur's Gate 3. So I'd love to throw that up there, you know, a hundred percent that too, but it is a lot of time, but it's a fun game. You can a hundred percent in one playthrough, so it's not too bad. Persona 6 is probably going to be great. They seem to be getting better and better. A Persona party game could be interesting. I wonder what it'd be like. So I just highlighted what I really want to talk about. I'm going to jump into that in a second. Final Fantasy IX has been pushed back. It looks like sometime next year, you need some polish. I hear it. From what I understand, it's more of a remaster than a full-on remake. I think it's going to be more like the Final Fantasy VIII remake. I don't think it's going to be like that different. There'll probably be a lot of quality of life improvements, graphical upgrades, but most of the same. And I'm sure it'll be fun. I'll play through it again. Why not? So Final Fantasy VII Remake 2, it ends at a spot and sets up another protagonist. I think they keep it simple and it just sets up when Cloud falls in the live stream or whatever. And he's kind of out of the party and Tifa is kind of the main character. I think this will give a chance for a lot of other characters to kind of take the spotlight for a bit. Because everyone kind of does their own thing. It's like you're, you're Barrett for a bit, doing some stuff. You're Tifa. Uh, at one point you're Sid and you fight like Ultima Weapon. It can go a lot of different ways. I mean, it could be even crazier where maybe they like take Cloud out or, you know, even kill him. And you have to travel back in time or, you know, fix the timeline and... Your your Zach for a bit. I mean, that would be kind of more interesting, but I don't know if I'd like it as much because I really think the end of Final Fantasy VII's got to be that battle between uh, Zach and Cloud, or got to be the battle between Sephiroth and Cloud. I they said they're going to change stuff, so who knows how how much it's going to change? It, it could go. Anyway, I'm interested, but the way this is worded, it sounds like you're Tifa, that they're just keeping it mostly the same. I don't know that they kill anybody, though. I really feel like killing Aerith seems important to the story because that's how she summons, you know, Holy and uses the life stream to help stop Meteor, but that's the same thing that happened and the timeline's different. I don't know if Sephiroth tries to kill someone else or... How it's all going to change. I mean, we're going to know soon, next couple months. Uh, I, I think it's coming out, what? Yeah, it's coming to the PS5 early 2024. My guess is in March, I believe. I think I got it for my birthday, so I'm pretty sure Remake 1 came out about March. So I'm sure this will be about the same. I can't wait for it. I'm excited to see what they do. Again, I think the safe bet is you're just playing as Tifa and the other characters. But maybe they do something wild and you have multiple timelines and you play a Zack and try to fix it all. Bringing Zack in, it's going to be interesting, and I think he's going to join the party. So incorporating that and having that dynamic is going to definitely... Timeline's going to be wild, and I'm sure we'll have a lot more things and rumors and trailers to dissect, so look forward to more content for that. Final Fantasy X fans can be excited. They're going to do the Ten remake. I have the remaster I never played. At this point, I might just wait for the remake, and you know, X3 could be interesting. I'm curious where they go with that. I finished X2 on PS2, but I haven't played it since, so I definitely should go back to that remaster. And they're saying Square's got the new dev kits. They're probably PlayStation Pros. We all know that's coming. There's going to be a 
Sony event soon, so hopefully they have some good things to show. So I'm excited for Spider-Man 2, but I'd really like to see what else Sony's been working on. Uh, they have a bunch, you know, they have a bunch of other studios that they, they have to have some more stuff to show soon. And that's that's about it for the news. That's just a quick overview and you know, my thoughts. I'll probably grab a PlayStation Pro. I don't really need it. I mostly PC game, but I always like getting the new hardware and taking it apart, so... Once it comes out, I'll probably try to get one, open it up. I'll post that on the tech channel. And I just want to say, I just got back from vacation. I did Fandom Fast, what, two weeks ago? It was almost two weeks ago. Had a great time. I would have taken more footage, but I had a pretty busy table. We had a retro gaming contest going. Met a lot of really cool people. Gave away some paintings. Played some really competitive matches. I wish, I'll record it next time. It was great. Except I won't do it. I won't do nearly as well next time. That's just the way it goes. But if you checked it out, if you followed from it, thank you for following. I hope you check out more content. I got a few movie reviews coming up this week. Got some stuff to release on the tech channel too. So look forward to that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thor out.